Whether we are aware of it or not, we have been conditioned to believe that Valentine's Day is meant for those who are lucky enough to be in love, and a lot of people might feel bad if they don't have somebody special to celebrate the day with. So if you've been single for a while or have recently gone through a breakup, you might be feeling a little bit down today. And if that's the case, this video is dedicated to you because we are going to talk about six super simple ways that you can practice self-love on Valentine's Day. A lot of people might find themselves seeking validation and love from somebody else, especially on a day like today, in order to feel okay with themselves. If you're feeling that way, just please know that you're not alone because as humans, we want that type of a bond and a connection with somebody. But the important thing is to remember to not lose our own self-love and own self-worth if we're not in that type of a relationship. The goal of this video is to change the belief that you need love from somebody else in order to feel loved and worthy as a person. Because the fact of the matter is, the only person you can count on to love you unconditionally and to make yourself feel good is you. So let's get into the six super simple self-love practices that you can do. Number one is to compliment yourself. There is nothing conceited about saying kind things to yourself. We oftentimes do the opposite. How many times have you told yourself, I'm so stupid, or I look horrible, or I hate myself? The list is endless of all the negative self-talk that we can say to ourselves even without realizing it. Be kind to yourself and hype yourself up instead of putting yourself down. Tell yourself, I'm good at what I do, and I look beautiful, or I look handsome. I love who I am and I'm eager to keep growing. This will build your self-esteem, self-image, and self-love. You don't need to wait for a significant other to compliment you when you can just do it yourself. Number two is to take yourself on a solo date. Doing this is one of the best things I've ever learned to do. This is another practice that builds up your self-esteem, but also your confidence. It could be uncomfortable to go to places alone or to eat alone, but it's because of the ideas we've created in our very own heads about how others perceive us. In reality, they aren't even thinking about us at all. How many times have you seen someone alone in public and have pitied them or wondered why they were alone? It rarely ever happens. So if there's a new place you've wanted to go to or a coffee shop you've wanted to try or you just feel like getting out of the house, Doll yourself up and take yourself on a date. Explore a new place, read a book at the park, take yourself out for lunch or coffee, go to a museum. Just learn to become comfortable being alone and enjoying your own company. Number three is to gift yourself flowers. Flowers brighten up anyone's day, so why not brighten up your own day? If you do have someone who buys you flowers, that's great, but please don't feel bad if you don't. That doesn't make you any less worthy of love or any less valuable as a person. Buy your own flowers and be proud of it. You don't need to be waiting around for anyone for anything. Number four is to make or buy your own chocolates or treats. If you're craving your favorite sweet, you don't need somebody to give it to you. You are your own individual person and can absolutely give it to yourself. If you're in the mood for a treat like cookies, you can bake some at home. Throw on some music and have fun while you do it. I think the majority of us don't typically bake on a regular basis, so it's a fun activity to do with yourself, and you can make your cookies just how you like them. Alternatively, if you're not big on baking, that's fine too. Take yourself over to your nearest store and treat yourself to whatever your heart desires. Number five is to pamper yourself. Now, this doesn't have to be an expensive spa day by any means, unless you actually want it to be. You could go down that route along with a massage or getting your hair or nails done, but you could pamper yourself at home too. Especially if you're someone who doesn't always get a chance to do a full-on in-depth skincare and beauty routine, set aside time to treat yourself to it. Enjoy a face mask to rejuvenate and hydrate your skin, pluck those brows, use your favorite body scrub or lotion, paint your nails at home, whatever it is that makes you physically feel great and relaxed. Top it all off with a glass of wine and your favorite Netflix series and you're pampered up. Number six is to be your own hero. If you find yourself feeling sad, anxious, or lonely, Doing something to take care of you is a great act of self-love. It proves to yourself that you are your own hero and that you will take care of yourself whenever you're feeling like you need some TLC. Being your own hero and pulling yourself out of a dark place comes in many forms. Meditation, taking a walk, journaling, dancing to your favorite music, doing an activity you love, cooking your favorite meal for yourself, or talking to someone you trust are a few ways to be your own hero and practice self-love. I hope you'll try out some of these self-love practices today and beyond Valentine's Day. Remember that the relationship you have with yourself is a special one that you won't have with anybody else. So make sure to love yourself fully and fearlessly and always keep your heart open for all forms of love. Love for yourself, your family, your friends, a significant other, and the entire world. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you'll be the first to know when I post my newest videos. And in the meantime, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.